Hello everyone, this is Chris from Chris Trains with tutorial number 10 for the ICNG, which is driving ETCS in override mode to pass a red light. Normally speaking, you shouldn't come across a faulty red light, but if you do in the real world, you would have to radio the control center and make sure that it was safe to pass. And if it is, you need to go into override mode. I've set up a scenario here which is a little bit fake, but it, it shows the situation. There's a train up ahead, this light's red. Um, let's just say we want to pass it for some reason. I go to this screen on the right here and choose override, and then click the button with the traffic light or the signal symbol on it. And we're now in override mode. Once we've entered override, we have to pass a red light within 200 meters or the system will revert back to staff responsible mode. Once we pass a red light, the system will revert to staff responsible mode straight away. There's also a hard speed limit in this mode of 15 kilometers an hour. And if you go faster than 15 kilometers an hour, you will get an emergency brake. So let me just start driving. As we creep forwards, let's just go at 10 kilometers an hour, 12. Once we pass the red light, ETCS will change into staff responsible mode. And I covered this in tutorial number nine. We now have to wait about 100 meters. We're now capped at 40 kilometers an hour. And after 100 meters, it will ask us, is the track ahead clear? And if it is, we go back into full supervision mode. Now, in this case, the track isn't clear, but I will just assume that it is to show you how this works. Track ahead free, yes, back into full supervision mode. So that concludes tutorial number 10, which is driving ETCS in override mode for passing a red light.